Hi there, Larry Ann with Pink Dahlia Soaps here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you are well. Today's soap was a soap suggested by at Samra Riaz. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Hi Samra, thank you so much for suggesting Northern Lights. You'll notice that the title of the video is Northern Lights Inspired because <laughs> it's inspired by Northern Lights. It didn't come out exactly the way I wanted it to, but I still love it. The night is dark and full of terrors. It's also full of bright shiny stars and that's why I am using nothing but eco glitter for the base of this soap because I want it to look like a sky full of beautiful bright stars. I'm also using a touch of glow in the dark colorant in the green. I don't know if you just saw it there. And I'm dispersing all of the glitter micas with the measured out oils that I'll be using for the soap. The colorants are much easier to mix into the soap base when they are dispersed. I also find that when you disperse the glitter micas before adding it to the soap base, the glitter just shines so much better in the end product compared to when you add the glitter mica directly to the soap base without dispersing it. That's just what I noticed. So the game plan for this soap was to try to keep it as liquidy or as fluid as possible. So I only hit it with the stick blender for a couple of seconds and then I switched over to a whisk. The fragrance oil that I'm using is a mixture of something called Sapphire Nights, which right out of the bottle reminded me of a terrible 1980s imposter perfume. But once I added it to the soap and then also added some patchouli to it, it smelled wonderful. Sometimes you just have to take a chance. Look at that. Doesn't that just look like a sky full of stars? So pretty. The whole time I'm mixing in the colorants, I'm saying, please stay liquidy. Please don't thicken up, please. This beautiful photograph of the Northern Lights is by Lightscape on Unsplash, and it is what I'm using as inspiration for this soap. Notice how the lights are streaking up as opposed to swirling. Keep that in mind. I have my handy dandy hanger tool here, only it's bent to go the short way of the soap mold. You see, the idea is to try to get streaks going up. Let's see what happens. Okay, this beautiful sparkly blue soap is liquidy enough, right, right, okay. And now to add the important colors, the green, the fuchsia, the purple, the turquoise, yeah. They thickened up on me. So I already knew at this point the design was pretty much done, but I still love the colors, so I'm gonna keep going. And as I mentioned, the idea was to have the colors streak upwards like in the photo. I didn't want the colors to swirl together at all. I wanted them to blend into each other. And I really think this technique will work if the soap is fluid enough. The soap did thicken up on me, so at this point, I didn't know how the soap was gonna turn out. But what I'm doing, as you can see, is I'm dragging the tool down the side of the mold until it hits the base of the mold. And then I'm dragging it over and then pulling it up. And for the top, I'm taking the leftover thickened up soap. Yeah, I'm mad at this soap, okay? I'm mad at it for thickening up on me. So I'm taking the rest of it and I'm going to smear it or streak it across the top just so that you have an idea of the look that I'm actually going for on the inside of the soap. I still don't know what the inside of the soap is gonna look like. 
that top of the soap is gonna be somewhat representing what I wanted the inside to look like. All right, all right. This top is so pretty. Look at that. I can play with this soap all day. Look how the colors are blending into each other. That's how I wanted the inside to look. Blended into each other, streaking upward. <sighs> we'll find out. We will find out what the inside looks like in a few moments. If you're making a soap inspired by the night sky, you're definitely gonna need some falling stars to top that. I made these in beds from scratch and I also made a tutorial for it. I will link that above and in the description below. I'm definitely not piping over this beautiful soap. I will just place these falling stars. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a- Mandatory motion sickness inducing shaky shot. That glows. One day later, yes, one day later, because I could not wait to see what the inside of this soap looks like. Let's cut it. Hmm. Got a lot of soda ash going on. I will try to steam that off. The inside, eh. I mean, if you didn't know that it was supposed to be the Northern Lights, I think you would say you like it. Cause I do like it, it's pretty. Well, I'm definitely going to try this technique again. And when I do, that soap is gonna be so liquid, you're gonna think it's water, okay? And it is gonna streak upwards and those colors are going to blend or so help me. <laughs> Just kidding, but no, I will try the technique again. Just want a quick moment to say thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. It really means a lot when you subscribe, when you like, when you leave lovely comments below. I read them all. You guys are so awesome. You really encourage me to make more videos and I love you for it, thank you. And speaking of videos, sometime in the near future, I will be posting a few videos on homemade gift ideas. I hope you'll be joining me for those. But until then, please feel free to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, or leave a comment below. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.